Hello FCP 10 users, how to make your text appear behind a moving object like so. Really simple, three steps once you have your clip. Well, this is the project. It's one clip, the text and a mask applied to it. We'll start with a new one. Not gonna open new project, just gonna add to this one. That's the clip I need. And I'm gonna press Shift 2 here as I only need video then press E on my keyboard to append the clip on my timeline that's the clip without the text so next I need the text and then I'm gonna use the custom if I come back here to my clip and I press X and then double click there I have my custom text right on top of the clip close this one don't need it open the browser to change the text to I Amsterdam this shot was taken in Amsterdam lovely city I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger okay I think that's enough and change the first three letters to red so I highlight them and I change the color to red and that's it so now I have my text okay I'm gonna close this browser control command one then I have more space to work with that's right here show or hide browser blow this up to 150 okay now that I have the text ready the mask is gonna start almost here we need so next to apply a mask go to the browser effect browser again or command 5 and look for the mask right mask this is the mask I need I'm gonna drag right on top of the text close this browser and stop right here go to video and there I see all my mask options as I put my cursor on top of the screen I can see the pen where I can draw the mask and let's do so I happen to be the object in this video and I draw the mask around myself like so Now everything outside the mask disappears. I need it inverted, so back to the options and I press invert mask. Now the mask appears, the text appears again and what's in the mask disappears. So if I drag the mask and move it, so that's what happens. That's it basically. Now you just need to keyframe it manually, that's the, the longest step. But I have a couple of quick tips for you, so let's go on. I need to add a keyframe. Keyframe is added to all the options, but I will use only the feather to minus three. Enough, I have no idea what fall off is, and we don't need to do this, controls, anything to them. Now that the mask is ready, I have to move the video forward with the right arrow on my keyboard. One frame or two frames at a time. So if I press once, it goes one frame. And I press twice, it goes two frames. You can see here, if I go back, one frame, press forward. That's how it moves, one frame at a time. I'm going to move two frames at a time. And a couple of ways of adjusting the mask around the object. You can go one point at a time, like so. Or the faster way, you can click above and drag down, highlighting all the points you need to move. A white dot shows the points locked. And then anyone you drag forward moves all of them, like so. And you click out now to unlock it, and we can do the backside 
at the same time. Then I move two frames again. But since this part, as I've noticed, isn't changing in shape a lot, a better way is to click in the mask, dragging all the mask forward. If you want to adjust a few points, you can, but that's still much faster and easier than adjusting each point separately. Again, two frames forward. Now here, I will adjust a couple of points. It's fine. In the back, I think it's still... Okay, the text is not appearing yet, so... The longest procedure of this effect. So let's speed it up. All right, that's it. We are done. Now, if we play again, okay, to make the mask disappear, I press on this one here, and now I can go forward and backward, and looks really good. Well, that was it. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, let me know. This is my first tutorial. I'm going to make a second one on how to reveal the text behind as well a moving object similar to this but slightly different so until then cheers